An astronaut and a geologist recently spent three days camping out on an asteroid, or at least camping out as though they were on an asteroid. In reality, they were inside the newest generation of NASA's Space Exploration Vehicle prototype, parked at the Space Vehicle Mock-Up Facility at NASA's Johnson Space Center. The view out the window was out of this world. We really can't be in deep space. We've never been there before. In order to set up an environment which we can get information about the next missions that we're going to go for, we need to set that up in a digital environment. Then an asteroid's microgravity, wheels aren't needed. Instead, the SEV could be used on a propulsive platform that would allow astronauts to fly around an asteroid. And by flying it virtually, or on an air-bearing floor at Johnson Space Center, NASA gathers information on how it might perform in space. We're measuring handling qualities of the vehicle, we're looking at prop usage, we're looking at the uh, viewing out the windows, the kinds of rendezvous tools we need. Of course, there's more to exploring than just driving around, so various methods of simulating spacewalks on an asteroid were also added to the agenda. When you go to an asteroid or any type of near-Earth object, um, the main driver is going to be science, of course. So most geologists will take a rock chip sample to be able to get a piece of a full story as to what the local geology is, is telling them about the formation of that location. A similar round of tests, though on a larger scale, will be conducted at Johnson Space Center in the summer as part of the annual RATS, or Research and Technology Studies test.